I am very pleased that we have many, many, many uh, homosexuals watching this program. And many of them are looking for love and acceptance and help. And I'm glad to report that we have thousands of these people who are saying, yes, we want to follow Jesus. We're not happy with the lifestyle we're in, and we want to have a better way. So uh, I think it's wonderful that that's happening. And I, I just think, um, you know, we're not anti-gay or any anything, but I, I, I just do believe in the Bible. And the Bible makes it clear. The Apostle Paul, in the second chapter of Romans, it's very explicit, you know, that the, the world uh, would not see God. They would not accept God, and they became um, wise in their own imaginations, and their foolish hearts were darkened. And then they began to exchange uh, Men burned in, in passion for other men. Women exchanged the natural use with men for uh, sex with women. And uh, this whole th thing came about when they forsook God. So homosexuality is nothing new. It was certainly going on in, in first century uh, Rome. And it's been going on forever since. But, but it was because they had forsaken God. It, it was not something that, you know, is, is natural. And it, it needs when people reunite with the Lord, the Lord will get their priorities the way it's supposed to be. I, and I think one of the things that, that Chambers was saying is that maybe, maybe the challenge and the journey of that has been made to seem too simple because it uh, you work through it in your relationship. Well, you work through it, but if you meet the Lord, I mean, there should be. It can be uh, instant, but uh, there are a lot of people who are into this homosexual thing because they've been abused by a parent, abused by a coach, abused by a sibling, abused by a friend, and uh, they're little boys and little girls. They don't know any better, and then they, they somehow think, well, I must be gay. Well, th they aren't. They, they're heterosexual, and they, they just need to come out of that. Uh, there are others. Maybe they've got some chromosomal uh, damage that's different that from heterosexuals, and that's what, of course, they claim. And then the homosexual movement, they say that, hey, you can't come out of this under any circumstances. Mm -hmm. But in any event, this exodus, I, I don't understand what he's saying. We're now going to let the church do what we were doing. The church ain't going to do it. It hasn't been doing it. And, and so I'm sure some other organization will rise up to, to help people who want out.